morning, Sarah. What's up, Sarah? Good morning. <laughs> Sarah, we're getting ready guys? to get moving. We're good. So Fitness we by are. Sarah Taylor. So this is something that we can all do when people want to get into circuit training, right? Because they feel like this is a good way yeah. to kind of group things together and a good use of your time as well. Yes, exactly. And I find I get a lot of questions of how do I even start? What do I even do? So I like to think of making a circuit for yourself. Pick five exercises you want to do and set a timer. So I use a timer called Flex Timer. It is free. Set up your timer and do your exercises. So today we're going to go through five that I've chosen okay. um, that are full body moves. And it will, um, what I would usually recommend is pick a timing of like 35 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. Um, do one whole round, take a rest in between your rounds, and then do as many rounds as you can in, let's say, 20 minutes. So the first one we're going to do is a double shuffle with a high knee. So just in terms of space, if you don't have a lot, you're going to have your core nice and strong. Knees are going to be soft, and we're going to go shuffle twice. Sit in that squat. We're going to punch four times and then switch directions. All right. Okay. okay. So that's the first one. So if you're just going to do it based on reps, you could do like 10 of them. Okay. But a nice, simple one you can do. Um, a modification, if you don't want any kind of impact, mm -hmm. I always tell people get in that squat form and just do it as a step. Right. So it just depends on where you are in terms of your fitness journey. Next, we're going to go into a jump squat with a reach. And I'm going to show a couple of modifications for that as well. Okay. So when you do squats, core is strong, chest is up, and we're sending our bum back, sitting back and down. That's your basic squat form, powering up with your legs and bum. Adding the cardio component to it, we're going to do it as a jump. Oh, yes. <laughs> this will get so the heart one, rate up for sure. It will. And a modification, if you're nervous about jumping, I have a box here. You can grab a chair. You can start by sitting back with your squat, powering up, or still do it as a jump. But if you're unused to, if you're not used to the squat form, this is a really great yeah. way to get your body used to how to do a squat. Sarah, when I was taught to do squats the first time, it was like, hey, you know when you go to the bathroom? That's, that's what you're doing. <laughs> exactly that. Right, yeah. that's how you sit it down is. on the toilet. That's, yeah, it is. Why are you laughing? And I, it's true. And people are often so intimidated by squats because they're like, what do I actually do? So that is a really great way to describe it. Next one, we're going to go into some skier swings. So another full body move. Feet are shoulder width apart. Core is nice and strong. Hands are going to start above your head. And we're going to act like we're skiing down a hill. Oh. To amp it up, you can add weights in your hand. But nice and powerful, pulling down like you would be skiing down a hill. Right, this is exactly how I ski down the hill. Like I take the slopes the like they're nothing. Trust me, you know, I'm getting <laughs> whiplash after. Not about snow yet. Yeah, right? <laughs> Next one is we're gonna do mountain climbers. So people are often really intimidated by mountain climbers because essentially you're planking on the ground. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna show you a modified version today. We're gonna do it on a box. Again, you could do this oh. on a chair. Core is nice and strong. Neck is nice and neutral. And we're gonna go twisting opposite side. Oh. So, strong. so you can do this on the ground. Yeah, I'm doing the on the ground you. version here. Look at you go. I think we couldn't so again, find a chair. <laughs> Trying. And another modification for mountain climbers, for those who are really new into fitness, is doing it standing like you're climbing a mountain. Right. So making your fitness super accessible depending on where you're at. That's good. Um, last one is a standing oblique. Some people have a hard time getting down on the ground. So hands behind your head, and we're gonna go opposite knee, crunching to the side. So keep nice and upright, focusing on that side, your oblique, and keeping that core super strong. Ooh, that one's good. And, and it works on that balance. So yeah, your core has to be locked in here, right? Exactly. Yeah. hundred percent. So another modification for that one as well is a nice wide stance leaning to the side, pulling up with that oblique. You can also add some weight in your hands, right. but some people have a hard time knee to elbow. So just a few different options for a variety of different exercises you can do at home anywhere you are. That's amazing. So you would say repeat these, so 30 seconds on or so, 30 to 45 seconds on, and then taking a quick break in between each set, right? Yeah, so I would. I usually recommend choose how long you want to work out for. So if you want to do 20 or 30 minutes, mm -hmm set that you're going to do that and pick as many rounds as it takes to do it in that time. Yeah, and go slow so. and start, yeah, start and build up from there, right? Exactly. 
That's awesome. Sarah, exactly. Sarah, where can we find you on uh, social media? Uh, the Taylor um, is my Instagram. You can also find me at fitnessbysarahtaylor.com. We are now 100% virtual studio. We are in my virtual studio. We actually had to close our studio uh, downtown due to COVID. So now we get to reach more women all around the world, um, being 100% virtual, which is very exciting. Helping women build their confidence and strength in and out of the gym. Uh, fitness classes with a dose of self-love. That's amazing, Sarah. You're doing a lot of great things for a lot of great people. So thank you for doing what you do. Keep doing it. Uh, Sarah Taylor, thank, thank you. Fitness by Sarah Taylor. Make sure you all check it out and get moving with us this morning. Thank you if you got up and did get moving. We're going to come back and take your calls, your emails. We're talking about teachers and how important they are in our lives. You have one that you want to shout out that you may have in your life right now for you or your kids or maybe someone from the past. one 866